So I was working on my 80 tiny 85 handheld game console project and I was trying to decide what type of controls I want to have. Now, of course, uh, I could just go with the usual buttons, but I have seen projects that also made use of other control schemes. For example, one person has used a uh, joystick. Another has used a control knob similar to the ones that you find in a stereo. It was then that I had this idea. What if instead of choosing one control scheme, I could just have a system that could have multiple control schemes. So imagine the system would have a detachable and swappable control module. So each control module would be different, like there's a control module for buttons, another a control module with a, with a joystick, and another with a control module with a knob. So the design will be very simple. So imagine it's going to be the same as the original idea, the handled game console. So the difference is that I'll just be separating the controller part of the system. The controller part should be independent from the main system and the system should be smart enough to detect and handle the newly attached controls. So as you could see here, the one in front would be the display as well as the uh, speaker and the 80 tiny 85. The reason why it is in front is that I want it exposed so that users can remove it and replace it with another 80 tiny. So each 80 tiny would serve as the cartridge where the game would be located. So at the back, I decided to put the battery holder. I'm really not sure if this is the best place to put it but i guess we'll just figure it out as we go so this part would serve as the main module and the other module which would be the controller module should be a little bit more straightforward and then we could connect the two using these connectors right here on the back of the main module so it will work similar to how shields are installed on top of an arduino it's very very similar to that as for the casing i'm thinking of using pvc board of course this would just be for prototyping i like using this material because it's easy to cut and easy to shape plus it's also very strong for the final product though i'm still deciding on whether it would look nicer if i could encase it inside an acrylic case or maybe a 3D printed case. All in all, I'm really excited for this project. As you can see, it's very, very simple. And it is because of its simplicity that I'm really excited to finish it. Next week, I'll be posting a video on the next part that I plan to work on, which is um, inputs. So keep an eye out for that. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to leave them on the comment section below.